What's going on Wix Nation? MPS here from Wix Training Academy. You can see a different setup and that's because I am introducing another guest creator video in today's guest creator series, which is Brendan again from Authoritech, except last week we covered one topic. This week he's going to be covering the Wix Storage API. I'm gonna be providing a lot of details and information about that. So make sure to stay tuned in the video. But before we get started on Brendan's portion, what do I always tell you? If you're not already subscribed, make sure you smash that subscribe button and turn those bell notifications on so you never miss any content here on the channel. And you'll join the largest Wix training community on the internet, a pretty exciting place that's only continuing to grow with some really incredible content. So I'm, now I'm gonna turn it over to Brendan and then I'll see you again at the end of the video. Make sure to give Brendan a thumbs up. Thanks guys. Hey everybody, it's Brennan from Authoritech again. Today I got another video. Um, this time we're talking about the Wix Storage API. With this API, there are three main components. We have um, session storage, we have memory storage, and we have local storage. Each um, basically have their own way of sending data from one page to another. So for you guys, I built a little demonstration here to show you exactly how that works. So with memory, this is super temporary. What this does is um, you can set a variable, but it only lasts until you refresh the page. So um, what I would use this for is transferring data potentially from a function to another function um, that you know stays there until um, you refresh the page. Session data, however, um, stays until you close the browser. So from here, you can send data from one page to another without losing that data. Then finally, with local storage, we can send data from multiple pages, and then we can also close the browser, reopen the browser, and the data will still be stored there. So let's get going with the example. Here, I'm going to set the um, variables. We got memory, add, session, and then local. So now with memory, like I said before, if you refresh, close the page, or go to a different page, this clears. So let me refresh it, and now this variable is gone. Now with session, um, I'm able to close the page, reopen it, and the session variable will still be there. Um, in order to get rid of the variable now, I have to exit out of the browser, reopen, go back to the site here, and then now it's gone. Now finally with local storage, you have to clear your browser's cache data in order to get rid of the variable. So let's do that. Here I'm going to clear out the data, clear, and then I'm going to refresh, and now that variable is gone. I often use this um, when building out kind of like a customer dashboard um, that kind of saves the data as the customer is browsing along, um, mainly because a lot of people don't clear their cache data. So now let me show you how to actually put this into code. So easily enough, all three of these work the same. To set the variables, um, we got to use session, I'm just going to use session for example here, dot, and then we want to use set item. Now it's going to ask for a key and a value. The key is what we're going to use to call it, and then the value is going to be what's going to be in the, in the variable. So I'm going to name this the key, key, and then for the value, I'm just going to say value again. Something to consider as well is that the value also has to be a string. Or it can be another predetermined variable. So 
So let's replace that here. And now to get the item, we have to use session again, get item, and then we use that key name. So we used key. One thing I like to do is wrap this into a variable as well. So let's add it there. Now we can console log that data. Now when we see it, variable loads, and there we go. Thank you again for watching the video. Um, if you ever need any Cody help, please let Michael or me know in the comments below. Thank you. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video by Brendan at Authoritech. As Brendan mentioned, if you guys would like to start a project with Brendan and Ben over at Authoritech, they're incredible. Make sure to click the link in the description below. And as always, if you enjoyed today's content, make sure to drop a like down below and also show some love to Brendan, the YouTube algorithm and the channel and comment and let me know if you've been enjoying this guest creator series any comments for brendan down below i'm sure he'll pop in and answer some and lastly once again if you haven't already make sure you smash that subscribe button and turn those bell notifications on so you never miss any content here on the channel and you'll instantly plug into the largest wix training community on the internet and it's only continuing to grow thanks to you guys thanks to people like brendan and the people we're eventually going to bring on and thanks to wix for sponsoring some new content. And we are excited to bring that to you in our next video. Catch you on the next one.